The land of Mecca throughout history has been of a vital economic, social and spiritual importance. It is upon this blessed land that the sacred house of God, the Holy Kaaba, was constructed. People from every generation and from all corners of the world traveled to Mecca for pilgrimage and would each year circumambulate around the Holy Kaaba, the revered place of worship and the heritage of Abraham. The Kaaba was originally constructed for Prophet Adam upon his arrival to earth with heavenly stones. However, during the floods at the time of Prophet Noah, it was lifted towards the heavens and Prophet Abraham was honored with the sacred task of reconstructing the Holy Kaaba. He was assisted by his noble son Ismail, who would gather and collect the stones. Upon completion, the Kaaba stood nine hands high at the place where it is presently located. The structure itself is directly located beneath Beit al-Ma'mur in the heavens. The Kaaba is the sanctified symbol of the unity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the universal direction of prayer for all Muslims, and the central focus of pilgrimage made incumbent for all Muslims till the day of judgment. Imam Ali alayhi salam was born inside the Holy Kaaba in Mecca on Friday the 13th day of Rajab, 30th Amul Fil, which corresponds with the solar date of 11th October, 599 years after the death of Jesus Christ. <laughs> One of the close companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny, Yazid ibn Ka'nab, narrates the incident of the amazing birth of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, in the following words. Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib and I were sitting among a group of members from the Bani Abdul Uzza tribe facing the Kaaba. We could observe Fatima bint Asad who was still carrying Imam Ali, peace be upon him, in her womb, walking towards the Kaaba. It was evident that she was undergoing labor pains and we could hear her conversing in these words with her Lord. O oh my nurturer, I have full faith in you and your Prophet, as well as the books that you have sent. I testify to the words of my forefather Abraham and the one who built the Kaaba. For the sake of the one who built this house and for the sake of the child that I am bearing, make this delivery easy for me. At that moment I witnessed that the rear wall of the Kaaba suddenly cracked open and Fatima entered through it and disappeared. Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib and I approached the crack at once, thinking that we too would be able to pass through it, but found the wall closed. We immediately understood that this was a divine act. Fatima bint Asad walked out of the Kaaba on the fourth day with her baby, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, in her arms.
The crack which split open the walls of the Holy Kaaba are visible even today for everyone to witness. It is an everlasting symbol to testify the miraculous circumstances under which the Prince of Believers, Ali ibn Abi Talib, was born. No person before him was ever born in the Kaaba, and no person after him has ever had or will ever have a share in this magnificent glory. <laughs> birthday of Imam Ali bin Abi Talib, peace be upon him, the birthday of a man whose heart was so attached to the heavens, for whom this life and this world was so small, a great leader, symbolizing justice and fairness, the one who was feeding and supporting the needy through all his life. The birthday of the really human. He who devoted all his divine life to support the truth, to be the truth, and to spread the truth. Mirul Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib was the first believer in the message of Islam, the defender of the Holy Prophet, the champion of Badr, Ahad, Khaybar and the Hunayn, the Lion of God, the inheritor and successor of the Prophet, the guardian of his knowledge, the divinely appointed Imam of the universe, and the father of divinely appointed Imams. Even though Amirul Mu'mineen, peace be upon him, was martyred in the 40th year after Hijrah, his legacy remains alive with us even today. Peace be upon you, O brother of the Prophet of Islam. Peace be upon you, O defender of the religion of Islam. Peace be upon you, O Prince of Believers. Peace be upon you, O Haider. Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib.